We have cross-team sharing sessions, so once a month we give an update to the um, consumer team on all the different projects that are on the programme. There's just so much going on and there's so much information flying around. You generally have to listen to conversations that are going on around you. You have to be aware of what's happening because somebody might be working on something that's going to impact something that you do, but they might not be aware that they're going to impact on something that you do. I know that I generally butt in on every conversation that I hear going on or I'm always like that. We like to get two developers working together, pairing we refer to it as, and they'll, they'll work together and basically work as one person, if you like. So one of them will be saying, oh, what about this? How about we try it this way? Or one will say, oh, have we missed that particular bit of code there? Should we be doing that? So generally speaking, teams that do that fairly actively, there's a reasonable amount of, of knowledge sharing. So someone coming in is expected to behave that way. We tend to now have people that are more outgoing, in our team, the guys are quite specific in what they work on. So some work on Android, some work on iOS, which is for iPhone and iPad. Some do mobile web. Uh, there's not much cross-skilling goes on yet, um, more kind of knowledge osmosis. When I started, I hadn't done Agile before. I had one lecture at university. And because of the people, I kind of picked it up straight away because everyone helped me, everyone shared their knowledge with me. In the office every morning we do a stand-up, so the team stand up and we go around each person and we talk about what the priority is for the day, what we're going to be working on, how soon it'll be finished, if there's anything that's blocking us from finishing that piece of work. So it's a really open culture and everybody knows what everyone else is working on, where they're up to, so we can see the dependencies. So the key thing is, is anything stopping you doing uh, things at the pace you think you should be doing it? And then you can together as a team work out the appropriate way to unblock those things. The product team can sit in amongst the developers, um, get involved in the showcase environments, go in and do some testing themselves. There are always people on hand if you need to know something. If, you, if you're stuck, if you've got an issue, you've got a problem, you need some help with something, it's easy to find the right people to help you. Whenever one of my stories, we're working stories, user stories, so when, whenever one of them gets picked up to be worked on, I will sit down with a developer, a tester, a UX person, and I will go through the story and just like make sure everyone is happy with it. To my friends that want to be in these sort of disciplines, I'd recommend that they came and worked here, definitely.